Hi, it's Caroline. Today I want to take you through my favorite Jane Fonda inspired hip exercise videos. When you're ready to get started, lay down on one side. Take your hand behind your head and flex your top leg. Lift the leg and lower. So we'll start today with our basic Jane Fonda inspired leg lifts. I have to say Jane Fonda is my number one inspiration. I absolutely love her and everything that she's done with her life and her work. She has passion and energy that's infectious and she has inspired me in my career as well as many others. So I love her leg lift exercise exercises and I still use them to this day to keep my hips feeling strong and stable and my booty looking fabulous. So you'll definitely be feeling your hips and your thighs after our workout series today. So let's do two more and then hold the leg up on top. Bring the top knee towards your chest and then reach it away and extend. Good. So here you want to make sure that your core is really working so that you don't wobble all over the place. So make sure that you keep your torso solid so that your booty and thighs can do all the work. Really kick in, reach away with that heel. Good, if you don't feel it yet, <laughs> let me know. We'll do two more with this exercise. And then I'll have you bring the knee in and in front of your belly button so the knees are not stacked. Take the top knee and lift it up towards the sky and then lower it down. So I love these because they're not crazy hard, but they're super effective. And often the glutes and hips are a weak link that cause many injuries. So strengthening your hips and your thighs and your glutes will help you not only avoid injury, but improve performance and improve how you look in your skinny jeans, let's be honest. <laughs> Good, so just do four more. Two more, and last one. Take this top leg and reach it out in front of you. So now you're gonna take this top leg and lift it up towards the sky and down. This one kills me. So if you see some funny faces while I'm moving through this, um, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> Good, really try to keep that front foot flexed. Now if your hamstrings are uber tight, your leg might be down here and that's okay. So don't judge, just do. Good, let's do a few more. I promised funny faces. All right, last one. Good, now bring the knees together. Take your bottom forearm down and underneath your shoulder. So from here, the knees are gonna stay on the ground as you lift your hips and your top arm. From here, top leg goes up towards, this, towards the front of the room. So we're nice parallel long line. And you're also getting a bonus bottom butt cheek exercise. So you've already probably noticed this. Start with little circles of that top leg. So you're really feeling the thighs now. Core is engaged. That butt cheek is on fire. <laughs> Let's circle the other way just to be fair. And now you're feeling it a lot. Good, two more. Last one. From here, I just want you to bring that leg down and you're going to come into a tabletop position. And that same leg is going to work. So the same leg that was just working, you're going to lift it towards the sky and down. So now we're doing a little donkey kick backwards. And you want to avoid out here. So make sure your hands are right under your shoulders. And I'll turn towards you this way so you can see that. So it's a little motion. And you might not feel this one as much as you did the ones on the side. And that's OK. It's still very effective. So keep that in mind. Belly's pulled in, so your abs are still working. Good. From here, I want you to take the same knee and open to the side and close. So I call these dogs and fire hydrant. And you'll feel it. Make sure you're not sinking. So really stay mindful of how you're using your upper body, your face, your neck, all those other body parts that don't need to be doing much of this hip exercise right now. Good, we'll do four more, three more, two more. 
and one. So now we'll reach it out, kick, hold, and come center. So out to the side, kick, out, and down. And I love these. But again, if you're feeling like you're getting tired and your form is taking it, take a break, pause the video. That's the beauty of using YouTube. Come back when you're feeling better and you can do it well. This one you should feel. That one butt cheek is getting such a great workout. We're going to have to balance that eventually and I promise we will. Good, four more. Jane, I hope this is for you. <laughs> she inspires. All right, last one. Good, and from here, let's go back on your forearms and lift it up into a plank. Same leg that was just lifting. I want you to lift it up and hold. You're just gonna pulse. So leg goes up towards the sky. Really use your core. Use your butt, use your thighs. Oh yes. Last two and last one. Okay, from here, belly on the mat. Head goes down. Knees bend, heels together, feet flexed. Your head will go down towards the floor and I just want you to lift your feet, little motion, towards the ceiling and down. So now we're doing little frog kicks and it's really small. Make sure your head is down. So I know you want to look at the video, but don't. <laughs> Two more. Last one. Good, reach the legs long, and from here I just want you to lift the legs, open and close. Oh yes. Now if you feel it on your pelvis, you might want to do this on top of a pillow. Okay, so keep that in mind. Always a great option, or a blanket, carpet. Let's do two more, and last one. Nice job, push up, we'll switch sides. You're gonna swing your legs, and come on down. So starting with position number one, top foot flexed, lift and lower. Again, here shoulders are stacked, hip bones are stacked, belly's engaged. This is a great exercise video to fit into a really busy lifestyle, especially if you sit a lot, you're at a desk often. Keeping your glutes and hips strong will help improve posture and invent, prevent all those random injuries that come from sitting too long. So keep this in mind and fit this in when you can. So already you should feel this thigh working because we used it a bit on the other side. So if it feels fatigued, don't worry about it too much. Make sure it gets the same workout that the other leg got. Okay, hold that top leg up. Belly stays strong. Pull the knee in and reach it out. Good. So now the knee's coming towards the chest and you're using the core to avoid rocking and rolling all over your mat or your floor. I aim to do these exercises at least once or twice a week. Twice is the best, but you know, when you're busy, if once is all you've got, then once is better than none. So, and I find they're really helpful in everything that I do. Good, so feeling the side now. Let's do a few more, two more, and last one. Okay, from here, knee comes in front of the belly button, and we're just going to open and close. Nice job. So, small motion, but extremely powerful. Remember, if you feel like your form is starting to falter, press pause, take a break, come back when you feel better. That is the beauty of working out on YouTube and that the fact that it's free, kind of awesome. Let's do three more and two and one. Okay, here's the tricky one. Extend the top leg straight, flex the foot, and we're just going to lift and lower. So again, if the hamstrings are tight and mine are fairly tight, I take it a little bit lower. It's still great to do it at this angle. Okay, so wherever you go, do it well. 
and it doesn't matter how flexible your hamstrings are to do this exercise. Whew! But you should feel this now, as I am. So belly stays strong. Let's do two more. Last one. Nice. Okay, now the knees are together. Slide the bottom forearm underneath the shoulder, and we're going to come up. So knees stay on the ground. Abs are engaged. Top arm reaches up. Reach that top leg up and really squeeze the core. From here, I just want you to do little circles. Nice. They don't have to be big. Push your butt forward and make sure your ribs aren't arching out. So lots of dancers do it this way. Don't do that. <laughs> Pull it in. Good. Switch sides. Little circle. My rear end is on fire. These work. Guaranteed results. All right. Go Jane Fonda. Okay. And relax. So from here, tabletop position. Belly pulls in. And that same leg that was just working, we're going to go up towards the sky and down. Now notice today I'm working out barefoot. You can always do these exercises barefoot, but you can also do them in shoes. So you can take this on your smartphone to the gym, to the hotel gym, to your home. Beauty of YouTube. Good. So belly is engaged. Reach up and down. Very Jane Fonda style. I feel like as if I should be wearing my leotard, but I'll leave that for the next workout video. Good. Let's do a few more this way. Two more. Last one. And now we'll open that same knee to the side and down. So a little dog and fire hydrant. Bonus, you're also getting a little bit of abs and lower back by using the core muscles to stabilize you here so you're not doing the crazy wobble all over the place. Nice job. You've got one more. And from here, we'll reach it out, kick, hold, down. These are great. Good job. Keep the abs strong. Make sure you breathe. And if you feel like you need a water break, take one and come back to me. Four more. Oh my goodness, these work. Two more. Last one. Excellent. From here, let's take plank. So we'll come down. Forearm plank, tuck the toes, engage the glutes. Same leg that just did all the work is going to lift. Little circles. Okay, switch. Straight up and down. Ooh, yes, this works. And I feel it. And then out to the side. Little bonus. Feet together, hold your plank, smile and breathe, and then lower down. From here again, head goes down, heels go together and knees come wide, and we'll just do the little frog kick. So up and down, small motion, do it right with good results. Two more, the last one. Extend the legs straight, and now we're just going to lift and out and into the side. So out to the side and in. Oh, I love these. And head goes down. They work. Four more. Two more. Last one. Good job. From here, come on up. Tabletop, round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin, belly down, look up, back to neutral spine, and have a rest. So feel free to repeat this video two or three times through for a longer workout, or check me out online at carolinejordanfitness.com for more fitness videos. Thanks Jane Fonda for all of the great exercise inspiration. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.